for the following statement. R or P and not Q. In other words, the statement is R or P and the negation of Q. Um, this statement contains three variables, so my truth table will have eight rows. First, I need to assign truth values to P, Q, and R. So for my first column, P, true, 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 false, 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 and false. Whenever you have a truth table of three variables, the first column you'll set up as four trues, four falses. Uh, the next column, our Q, will alternate uh, true, true, false, false, all the way down. just like this. And our final column for R uh, will alternate true-false, true-false, all the way down to the bottom. Now we'll look at each variable and its associated truth values and start uh, putting together what we need to uh, find the solution to our statement. Okay, so my next step is going to be to assign a truth value for the negation of Q. Uh, when I construct, construct a truth table, I like to look um, at the parentheses. Just like a problem you would work maybe in algebra, you would have, um, you would solve what's inside your parentheses first. So I'm going to start by assigning a truth value for the negation of Q. To do that, I look at my column Q. Wherever I have true, I'm going to write false. Wherever I have false in Q, I'll write true in the negation of Q, just like this. Next, I'm going to find truth values for the statement P and not Q. So I'm looking right here, P and not Q. To do this, I need to compare my truth values of not Q and P. Now because and is a conjunction, um, there are certain rules that we have to follow with this conjunction. For an and statement, my truth value for P and not Q will be true only when P and the negation of Q are both true. So if we look at P and negate the negation of Q and compare the two, in this first cell, we're going to write false because P and not Q are true and false. So this is false. And I compare all the way down. P and the negation of Q, that's false. P and the negation of Q, both are true, so this is true. P and the negation of Q, this is also true. Okay, and we go all the way down. False, these are both false. Okay, P and the negation of Q, false again. All the way down. So we're almost finished. Um, now what I'm going to do is evaluate the statement R or P and not Q by comparing the truth values of R with the truth values of this compound statement, P and not Q. Now because um, this symbol right here is an or statement, also known as a disjunction, it's going to be true in all cases except when both R and P or not Q, P and not Q are false. Okay, so the truth values in this column are or P and not Q will represent my final answer. Okay, so we start to compare R or P and not Q. Uh, we have true and true, so that's true. R or P 
P and not Q. Uh, both are false, so this is false. R or P and not Q, both are true, so this is true. All the way down, R or P and not Q. It's true because one false and one true for a disjunction, which is an or statement, gives us a true. Okay, we keep comparing R or P and not Q. Here we have two false, so this is false. We compare these two, this is true. And these last two both are false, so we have false. So this final column here represents our solution. We have true, false, true, 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 false, true, false. So right here, this column represents my solution and I have completed the truth table.